there we have brought the SIVA TV cameras to the Sheep Reproduction Unit, part of the University of Sydney here in Australia. The reason I'm here is to report on a trial of Regulin in rams. The product has already been trialled on ewes, but the importance of this particular exercise is that it is being carried out at the highest cutting edge level of academia and research, which as you're about to find out is important for Regulin as a product and for you in your role at SIVA. Inside the shed at the university facility, they're conducting the final weekly semen collection from the test group of 31 rams. Regulin moves the reproductive peak of autumn to the spring months. A small implant applied through a special tool releases melatonin, which tricks the animal's reproductive system into thinking days are shorter than they really are. And that triggers a natural sequence of hormonal events that can increase reproduction. We're testing whether or not melatonin has an impact on male reproductive physiology. So the sorts of things that we're looking at are libido, we're looking at sperm output and also sperm quality. Um, so we, we want to know whether Regulin uh, increases those parameters um, or, or not. There is a huge movement towards legacy farming in, in Australia, in fact the world, and legacy means sustainability. So what's happening is we want to produce more from the same amount rather than put more sheep, more pressure, uh, you know, and greater demands on the environment as we go through, you know, some pretty rapid environmental changes. So what's happening is the industry was saying, how do we make our rams perform better? How do we, we already have a very successful history with using Reglan in Australia with ewes. And what we were finding is that our rams were slightly behind all the time. Breeding industry in Australia from a ram semen collection is worth about $25 million a year. So if we could contribute an improvement in that, we could see a commercial gain. If you're able to have rams which are producing high quality semen in that generally thought of as non-breeding um, time of the year, it means better semen quality, um, when the, the sperm is thawed out for artificial insemination. And again, better semen quality, better fertility, people are going to get much better pregnancy rates and that's going to be going to mean faster genetic progress for the industry. So I think that um, producers and growers, they, they're going to see um, that as a, a real opportunity to enhance their reproductive management. Wait motion for four is five. Another key aspect of SIVA's partnership with the university team is that the trial is being carried out under the GCP standard, which is essential if the work is to be recognised on an international scale. And that stands for good clinical practice. And what good clinical practice is, is a guideline that was developed by an international committee. And it is, runs trials according to the, pre, the principles of GCP, which are an international ethical and good scientific quality principles. So it's accepted worldwide and it also means that you can be very confident in the data. All of these results are able to be used um, in markets all around the world. Um, and I think that that's uh, important fundamentally for the research and also commercially for, for SIVA. And it's very exciting because uh, for the industry it's something that uh, will add real value uh, for our partnership with Sydney University. Uh, it's helping us to establish that, which is, um, is going to pay dividends in future. And for us commercially, um, it's pure mathematics, to be honest, that whilst there's far fewer rams to use the product in, uh, it takes three doses to be effective in rams, whereas just a single dose is effective in use. So the market potential, if we're successful, uh, is very exciting for the future. And as I said in my introduction, SIVA Australia is keen to emphasise that SIVA's world-leading work with Regulin is relevant to all members of their team in Australia. When you're locked away in your lab and when you're putting labels on a bottle and when you're sending out uh, packets into a truck, what we're actually doing is we're increasing the food, fibre and pharmaceutical capability of of what farms produce for the world. And I know it sounds cliched, but the bottom line, if we don't do more with what we have, then we just simply can't feed the world. 
So all eyes are now on the outcome of the trial being carried out here at the sheep reproduction unit. This is Nick Wood from Siva TV saying bye for now.